prevent illness because then we don't need expensive health care. We don't need to have cancer. We don't need to have heart disease and diabetes. They're all lifestyle diseases that are totally preventable. The insurance company refused for us to do preventive medicine unless there's pathology there. I have to give a diagnosis. That means the horse is basically out of the barn. Wouldn't it be better if your mom never had a heart attack in the first place? See, that's where I'm trying to go. Certainly we need medicine, and we may need surgery sometimes or something like that. That's quite fine. However, what about wellness? What about measuring the body before it breaks down so that we can take those keynotes and do something about them? Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. And, and sadly, so many of us think it's, well, I'm not sick. I've actually had people stand at my, my front desk and say, I'm healthy except for my cancer. Many of the toxins that we're dealing with today are what they call bioaccumulative, meaning that they store in our bodies and they build up. And that's really what's causing a lot of the cancers, it's causing a lot of the problems. Just in the last 40 years alone, we've introduced 70,000 different chemicals into the world. Just think about it, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, the main childhood challenges that we were dealing with were measles, mumps, things like that. Today we're dealing with cancer, we're dealing with ADD, we're dealing with autism. What we're doing is not new, it's not even necessarily groundbreaking, but it's urgently important. We've been programmed to think that the solution is in a bottle, when the solution might be with your dinner plate. Probably my fam most famous patient is the Susquehanna River, because we are a reflection of that water. If that water's contaminated, we're contaminated. The soil is the basis of all health on the planet. Everything starts in the soil. It all returns to the soil. We're not getting the nutrition that we had 30, 40, 50 years ago. The soil isn't the same. It's not providing the same nutrients in the food. We've genetically altered the food that we're eating today. Some people say we're actually digging our graves with our forks. Say I'm going to buy um, organic beef. You're right, it is more expensive. It costs more effort for the farmer, there's more involved, but it doesn't involve the toxic food that that cow has. So I saved ten dollars here on this meat, but I had open heart surgery because I had a blockage. How is that saving? Our theory is hiking instead of hospitals. You're out there exercising and, and doing a good cardiovascular workout every day. Heart disease won't happen. We have to detoxify our lifestyle from these bad habits. Health by Choice Education Research is a tremendous opportunity to take the wisdom of the sages of nutrition and chiropractic and homeopathy, research it out, document it, and bring it into a modern vocabulary and teach it to traditional physicians, the layperson, anybody who is willing and wants to learn. Oh, I think it needs to be mainstream. I think the future is going to be integrative medicine. What we want to do is we want to value and actually prove that there's real success in changing your lifestyle. We're seeing a revolution in this country. We're hearing about Dr. Oz, we're hearing about all these different people that are starting to look at natural health. People want the truth. They don't want to be sick. They want to be healthy. Show us how to do that and we'll be fine. I mean, that's, that's where we want to focus and we can save billions of dollars on treatment of diseases that don't need to exist. We can change the course of somebody's life just by helping them understand the power of nutrition, the power of thinking differently and making healthier choices. How can we empower you as a person to be more in charge of your wellness so that you can walk off with it? Because you can, you absolutely can. My staff just had a uh, uh, they closed the office for the afternoon. I didn't know that until I looked at the schedule that day. And um, they had an open house at the office for me because I turned 70 on Christmas Day. Yes, I'm 70. 